welcome to Mind Your Business, a channel where we are in a everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. So, our Tisha and Marceau trying to be the new Mel and Martel when they were a power couple. And these rumours of Marceau cheating are never ending <laughs> and seems to be back again. Well, I've got loads of people, my inclusive crew. Let's talk about love and marriage, Huntsville. So, the reason why I mention, you know, our Tisha and Martel trying to be like the new, um, our Tisha and Marceau, sorry, trying to be the new Mel and Martel. It's because, you know, I think it was interesting that they show Tisha with their daughters and working on the launching of a new hair care line. And she mentioned she's been working on it for the last four to five years. And I thought, well, that's interesting because I'm pretty sure around that time um, on the show, Melody was trying to, you know, co coerce you out of the house and show you that you can be, you know, a, a mummy and a successful businesswoman as well. So, you know, I feel like she's kind of like a mini uh, Mel in a, in a way. And uh, Marceau is definitely vying for the Martel position um, that they originally had when the, the, the show first started. But what do you guys think about that? But anyway, I thought it was interesting when Tisha was speaking to Marceau about Stormy and the way that she kind of was really disrespectful to him. Um, and he speaks about, you know, matching energy. Um, and I thought it was interesting they showed that clip because they didn't, I haven't seen that clip of them speaking and Stormy, you know, talking about, oh, do you want me to stop, you know, being rude to your man, basically. I just thought, Stormy, you need, just need to, you need to just chill because the attitude doesn't make any sense. And then also the comment about... Um, <laughs> she doesn't hold a grudge, like, basically, you know what I mean? She lets things go. And I thought, this is interesting because... You know, you haven't really let things go with Melody because even the other day when you guys kind of greeted each other, you was kind of, you didn't want to say hello. Then you've got the other day, even with you and Marcel, where you went into the business meeting and didn't greet him. So clearly you don't get over things as quickly as you are saying. But anyway, that's a, a side comment. But anyway, the ending of that was basically Marcel letting Tisha know that, you know, he doesn't really value that relationship with Stormy, whereas Tisha does. So obviously she's in the conundrum, but you know. Um, he doesn't believe he did anything wrong and would do it all over again. So, of course, Marceau is on to be called Marceau time. But um, Kimmy, I thought, was interesting because I feel really bad for her because, you know, you've survived cancer, you know, you've gone through a really horrible ordeal and here's your husband pressuring you to have sex all the time. Like, he needs to take a chill pill. Like, honestly, I just think he's very selfish and it's interesting to see her. You can see that she really does go all out when it comes to her marriage. To me, she seems like she puts in the effort whereas Maurice seems like he needs to put in more effort and definitely um is very good at the lip service part of it you know he's good at the the, the chat because you see him in the therapy where they show a flashback and he's talking about yeah the way you put it to me you know it basically makes sense and then Kimmy's telling her friend that you know she's been saying the same thing to him for how long and it doesn't seem to be digesting in his brain so yeah that is rather annoying and him and his brother really are a nuisance at this point now on to uh, Marceau and Tisha and this, you know, struggle advert that they were trying to film. Uh, yeah, he enjoyed shading Tisha as much as possible, only to find himself stumbling and mumbling just as much as her. So I was just like, please, seriously, be like that with your wife. Because I feel like he's, he's, I just don't understand how she deals with him. I really don't. I really don't. Then you got him linking up with Martel. Now, Martel, firstly, should be out of Chris's house by now. Like, he's taking the utmost piss. Why are you still in the man's house, in the yard? Why are you in the people them house? Because they want the house. If he's sold the house, it means they want the house. So he's just taking that a bit too far. But um, I do like that he tried to check Marceau there about, you know, the home early issue. Um, Martel, sorry, Marceau was just, to me, talking in circles. He was backpedaling, he was talking circles, he was double speaking. It was just like, what kind of tap dancing are you doing over here? And just to make a point. And it doesn't make any sense what you're saying. It was just complete nonsense. To me, anyway. Then you've got Melody and Kiki are linking up now. It's just me. Does, does Kiki look a little bit high these days? Like, she looks like a little bit, something's off with her. I'm not sure it is, but I'm just saying she does look like something's a little bit off with her these days. But, of course, you know, um, Marceau comes up, you know, with the whole... Melody telling her about when they last linked up and um, of course Kiki dropped this bombshell about him having a threesome with someone and having an affair but again this is not necessarily a bombshell because it's not the first time we've heard um, rumours of him having an alleged affair 
you know, you've got Merdy mentioned it way back when they when you watched the original season from the beginning. If you do, um, and you would remember that she spoke to Tisha about this years ago and basically implied that they go off and cheat together and whatever and Tisha was not listening. Then you've got the whole, was it last season or the season before, where uh, Kiki brought up the whole, you know, uh, you know, rumours again about cheating. So it's not like the first time we've heard about this anyway, so we'll see what comes of it. Next week is looking absolutely crazy and juicy because Kiki is about to go off. But anyway... What do you think? Do you feel like we're getting enough of their storyline at the moment? Because I feel like they're keeping everything, you know, quite surfacey. I don't feel like we're getting into the nitty-gritty of their lives at the moment as much. We know that Martel is kind of, you know, obviously trying to find somewhere to live, not making much, you know, moves in that area. Um, obviously, we know that Kimmy's struggling and it's around her sex life, which is a bit annoying because I feel like she shouldn't be pressured to do that in the first place. And then you've got Marceau and Tisha are keeping it very business. We're not actually seeing what's going on behind the scenes, like what's going on with their actual life. And now we're seeing this slight crack. But, you know, what do you guys think anyway? What do you think of the most recent episode? Let me know your thoughts below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, Stay blessed.